If you've done any home labbing, I'm 99% sure that you've spun up Nextcloud before. For the other 1%, Nextcloud is a self-hosted file storage platform that does much more than just that. It's actually a full software suite with office tools, chat, video conferencing, and a lot more. So when they reached out and asked if I wanted to come to their conference, I was like, hell yeah. And they were all like, cool, it's uh, in Berlin. So I gotta get to Berlin. And just like that, we're in Berlin. 2,000 years late. Okay, it is the next morning after a 21 hour travel day. Uh, yeah, I'll be spending the next two days hanging out in Berlin. If you don't care about that or care about seeing my experience, chapters down in the description, skip ahead. But for the rest of you, uh, consider this a little mini vlog of Berlin. So, uh, what I have, I went to a little store and got some treats. I've been sipping on this pomegranate ice tea. Uh, actually pretty solid, not too sweet, seven out of 10. Blute orange, some kind of hazelnut bar with chocolate. Some chocolate covered peanuts. And Haribo Smurf flavored. I've always wondered what a Smurf tastes like. Blood orange, not much flavor at all. Um, Decent, five out of 10. All right, hazelnut, milk chocolate, it's good. Not great, seven, seven out of 10. So it's like dark chocolate. Oh, mighty crispy. It's a candy coating, like an M&M. Seven out of 10, they're both, they're, they're both good. All right, Smurf. I don't know how to pronounce that. A more firm texture, it's okay. Six out of 10. Um, it's like 7 a.m., I'm gonna walk down, get some coffee, Walk around, explore a bit. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, um, it is 9 a.m. Coffee, really good, really good place. The croissant, like nine out of 10. I can't imagine a croissant being better than that. Just been taking pictures of stuff. All right, I think I'm gonna do something I never do and just spontaneously go to a museum. The uh, DDR Museum, not Dance Dance Revolution. All right, that was actually pretty cool. And I feel like every time I go to a history museum, it makes me wish that I paid more attention in school because it's actually pretty interesting. We have some double crunch peanuts and Fanta, exotic flavored. Boy, vlogging in public is awkward. Six out of 10 and double crunch nuts. It's like a peanut covered in a shell. It's like you took a Frito and wrapped it around a peanut. Now, if you like Fritos, you'll like that. I don't like Fritos. Four out of 10, not my favorite, but I could see people liking this. Good luck. Shout out to the nice lady at Dollops uh, who asked me what I was doing with the camera and gave me a follow because she wanted to see the vlog. And I'd awkwardly explain that I'm not a vlog channel. I'm a nerdy tech channel. I have about an hour and a half until uh, my walking tour, some more walking. Oh my God. I offloaded the vlog footage and I'm realizing the entire day I had freaking chocolate croissant. 
in my teeth. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm going on a walking tour. Literally the spot where I'm supposed to start and the main tour happens is blocked off by police and what maybe looks like um, cameras. So like maybe a movie is being filmed. I don't know, but I can't get there. So I'm on chat with the company and they're saying just meet here at the location, but that location's literally blocked off. So I, I don't know. Uh, there's this huge park right across the street from where I was supposed to do the tour. So I'll probably just walk around here. It's uh, really nice and massive. So yeah, either way, I'm getting my steps in. Okay, as you can see, it's a little darker. That's because I went back to the room to uh, rest my feet and edit some pictures. I got some absolute bangers, as you can see by this one, and uh, this one, and this one. Yeah. But yeah, go to dinner, get some food, maybe a few beers, and then probably turn in early-ish. I don't know, we'll see. It's the next morning, obviously. Uh, dinner last night, it was decent. Uh, the sausages, some tasted a little too much like the inside of an animal. Overall, some were good though, five out of 10. Uh, the beer was good though, eight out of 10. Uh, but we have a snack check this morning. These are little waffle things. They essentially taste like a concentrated Nilla wafer. Thin, crunchy, good. 7 out of 10. These though, these are fantastic. Stolen Comfect. They're essentially little biscuit cake things with sugar on top and raisins. It's good. If you see these, get them, get a thousand of them, eat them all, gain 50 pounds, hate your life. 9 out of 10, best thing I've had so far. I gotta find some coffee and there's a museum that I wanna go to. So yeah, let's go. All right, I actually took the Lime Scooter here. Uh, there's no footage of that because I didn't want to die. Yeah, it actually was pretty cool. There's bike lanes everywhere in this city, so I didn't feel like I was gonna get run over like I did in Austin. But yeah, let's, uh, let's hit up the museum. Another solid museum. I'm now walking my way to uh, some park or field that used to be an airport. All right, at an abandoned old airfield, turns out uh, other YouTubers show up here as well. I have Mr. Robert Meisen here. We've been actually chatting for a while, like, a few hours now already. Yeah, yeah, a few hours, yeah. Yeah, we've and just been hanging out. A few out. drinks as well. Yeah. So, so we've been hanging out. Mm, I'm going to talk about how to use Nextcloud and open source software where, I want to say where you shouldn't, but stealthily in organizations which aren't <laughs> using it, you know? Did you see my uh, <laughs> my picture that I submitted? Oh, yeah, uh, my... yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's to be good. honest, I think that's more in your character. I was going to say, because you know, I'm doing a talk about YouTubers, so I, I should look like a YouTuber, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the rest of today, we're gonna go explore. All right, see you guys in a bit. All 
right, it's conference day, finally. Which means I have to do some stuff because I am presenting today. It's a short five minute presentation. I should have asked them for 10 minutes. I feel like I'm gonna go over. Day one of the conference is complete. It's about 6.30 and it looks like they just brought in pizza and beer. So you know I'm gonna stick around for that. Overall, conference, first day was good. The presentation went well, a lot of interesting people talked. Actually way more interesting than I anticipated. They announced NextCloud Hub 6, which looked really cool, a lot of new features. I'll probably be doing more of the technical side of things when I get back, so this vlog isn't gonna be too technical. So make sure you're subscribed so you can nerd out on that stuff. But I'm going to get some pizza and beer. I will see you guys for day two tomorrow. Okay, day two of the conference. I'm running a little late. That about wraps it up. Uh, I apologize if there's not a ton of footage. I didn't want to be that guy shoving a camera in people's faces. And the entire conferences, all the talks are on the Nextcloud YouTube. So I'll link all that down below. But in terms of overall experience, it was fantastic. Definitely eye-opening. I'm not just saying that to like be nice or because they invited me here. Um, it actually was uh, seeing all the different people how they use Nextcloud, people from outside the industry, like talking about uh, data privacy and how it pertains to like actual laws. Honestly, I never thought I'd give a shit about <laughs> like a lawyer speaking, but it was actually really interesting. When I get home, I plan on sitting down and going over essentially what I thought of the conference as a whole, uh, what I learned and what I wanna do with Nextcloud moving forward. Back home, let's talk about this last week. Berlin is honestly one of my favorite cities I've ever visited and would 100% go back. Let's talk about Nextcloud. The conference itself definitely exceeded my expectations. I fully expected it to feel like the other vendor conferences I've been to where it just feels like a corporation patting themselves on the back. This did not feel like that. The initial keynote was about the launch of Nextcloud Hub 6, more on that later on. Then the rest of the conference was about their users. The CEO got up there and answered questions directly from the crowd. There were plenty of lightning talks from users with various use cases from how to develop and optimize for Nextcloud to uh, how a content creator uses it in their workflow. Look, it's me. The conference itself was live streamed on their YouTube channel, so if you want to watch that VOD, I'd strongly recommend it. Go check it out down in the description below. Another thing that was the main focus was data security and data sovereignty. Nextcloud, as a company, is very proactive in making sure that you are allowed to keep your data yours. There were presentations from lawyers and data activists explaining the struggles they face daily when dealing with governments and other legal entities attempting to overstep their boundaries. Overall, I'm walking away with a newfound appreciation for the work these folks put in to make sure that all of our data stays ours. Now let's talk about Nextcloud Hub 6. This appears to be one of their largest updates in recent memory. There are plenty of enhancements from easier file sharing, tracking talk time and video calls, work-life balance features, smart picker, and a bunch more. However, 
there are two big features that I want to discuss. Local AI and Open API. A big announcement that gathered tons of questions from the crowd was the introduction of the Nextcloud AI Assistant, which is kind of like your own Siri or Alexa or whatever AI waifu you want to enjoy directly in Nextcloud. And it's all 100% local. This was huge because they could have gone the way of other vendors and just integrated an Open API plugin, which currently does exist in Nextcloud Hub 5, but following the trend of data sovereignty, it's all local now. The models used are dependent on which function you are running. So if you ask the assistant to summarize a chat log or generate a headline for something you've written, it'll use a different model than if you're running speech to text or generating memes, I mean, images. From what I understood, this is included in Nextcloud Hub 6, but it is not turned on by default. I asked if this will change the recommended hardware to run Nextcloud on, and the answer directly from their CEO is pretty much what I expected. Not really, but if you're going to use AI, then manage your expectations. So I would say for the standard stuff, it's just as before, actually maybe even is going down with the performance improvements we did. The AI stuff, of course, uh, there's a big depends. There are some things, for example, the object and face recognition, which is a relatively small model. This is something that is not so hard to self-host. The full large language model, this is a bit more tricky. It runs on CPUs, so it doesn't require, require a GPU. This was important. But it's possible that an answer, depending on the machine, then can take, I don't know, a minute or something. I plan on testing this out in the near future to see how it performs on day one and how it evolves over time. The second big thing was Open API. Basically, you can now develop apps and plugins for Nextcloud in a language other than PHP. This is absolutely huge. The barrier to entry for community projects is basically on the ground floor now. Looking at the documentation for their API, it seems like the basics are already there for getting started. As someone who only touches PHP when I'm messing with WordPress, I'm very excited about this. I talked about how cool it would be from a content creator's perspective to have templates that basically spit out a consistent file structure, talk group, to-do list, and a built-in proxy generator. This might be something I can actually take on myself now since I don't have to use PHP. Like I said, I do plan on trying out Nextcloud Hub 6, which will require a dedicated video, so make sure you're subscribed to see that. My expectations are that these features will take a while before they're mature enough to see their full potential. The AI stuff is awesome, but will certainly require some tweaking and optimization as thousands of users begin using it on all different types of hardware. Then with Open API, it's not like a bunch of new apps are just gonna pop up overnight. Developers require a bit more time than that. Let's give them two nights. Overall, the Nextcloud conference was an awesome experience. I'm actually excited about diving into the Nextcloud ecosystem and seeing what we can do. To all the awesome folks I got to meet, Robert, Yost, Brent, Michaela, Tomas, Jerome, Sebastian, it was a pleasure meeting you guys, and I hope to do it all again next year. But that's all I have. I know this was a bit of a different video, so I hope you liked it. Hit subscribe if you want to see my follow-up content on Nextcloud or just home lab stuff in general. I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my local AI that is so human-like, it's, it's almost scary, almost. You guys are the realist. If you're still watching, you're okay too, I guess. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.